Welcome back, Stoic Seekers. In our previous episodes, we've explored the power of perception, emotional mastery, and self-awareness. Now, we're taking another step deeper into the Stoic Toolkit with part four of our series, Unbiased Thought. Think of your mind as a powerful lens through which you view the world. But just like any lens, it can become clouded with biases, assumptions, and distractions distorting your perception and leading to faulty judgments. The Stoics understood this, and they developed a set of practices and principles to help us cultivate a clear, objective, and unbiased mind. In this episode, we'll explore 10 Stoic lessons that will guide you on the path to mental clarity. We'll learn how to guard our minds against negativity, avoid the pitfalls of ego and dogmatism, and focus on what truly matters in the present moment. We'll also discover the power of silence, the importance of intellectual humility, and how to use everything available to us to achieve our goals. So, if you're ready to sharpen your mental focus, break free from cognitive biases, and make decisions based on reason and wisdom, then buckle up and get ready for an enlightening exploration of stoic, unbiased thought. If you found this episode valuable, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's spread the Stoic wisdom and help others cultivate a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Lesson 1. Mind Makeover. The Stoic Blueprint for Mental Sculpting. Alright folks, let's kick off this episode on unbiased thought with a concept that's both simple and profound. Your mind takes the shape of what you repeatedly think about. Now this isn't just some fluffy self-help mantra, it's a core principle of Stoic philosophy, backed by centuries of wisdom and observation. Think of your mind like a sculptor's clay. Every thought, every belief, every experience leaves an impression, shaping and molding it over time. The more you focus on certain thoughts and emotions, the more deeply ingrained they become, influencing your perception of the world and your actions within it. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, put it this way in his Meditations. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought, for the human spirit is colored by such impressions. In other words, you're not just a passive observer of your thoughts. You're an active creator of your mental landscape. The thoughts you entertain, the stories you tell yourself, the beliefs you hold dear, they all contribute to the masterpiece, or the mess, that is your mind. The Mental Diet Let's bring this concept down to earth with a relatable analogy. Imagine your mind is like your body, and your thoughts are the food you feed it. If you constantly indulge in junk food, negativity, self-doubt, fear, your mental health will suffer. You'll feel sluggish, unmotivated, and prone to emotional outbursts. But if you nourish your mind with a healthy diet of positive thoughts, gratitude, and empowering beliefs, you'll cultivate a sense of mental clarity, resilience, and well-being. You'll be better equipped to handle life's challenges, make wise decisions, and create a life that's truly fulfilling. The Power of Habitual Thinking The Stoics understood the power of habitual thinking. They knew that our minds have a tendency to run on autopilot, replaying the same old thoughts and patterns over and over again. But they also believed that we have the power to break free from these habits and reprogram our minds for greater clarity and purpose. As Epictetus said, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. This applies not just to the people we surround ourselves with, but also to the thoughts we allow to occupy our minds. By consciously choosing to focus on positive, empowering thoughts, we can gradually rewire our brains and create new, more beneficial habits of thinking. 
Modern day examples. Let's see how this plays out in real life. Imagine you're constantly bombarded with negative news stories and social media feeds filled with drama and outrage. It's no wonder you start to feel anxious, cynical and pessimistic about the world. Your mind is being shaped by a constant stream of negativity. But what if you make a conscious effort to limit your exposure to negativity and instead focus on uplifting content, inspiring stories and positive affirmations? Over time, you'll start to notice a shift in your mindset. You'll become more optimistic, hopeful and resilient in the face of challenges. Or maybe you're struggling with self-doubt and negative self-talk. You constantly tell yourself that you're not good enough, smart enough or worthy of love and success. These thoughts become a self-fulfilling prophecy, undermining your confidence and holding you back from reaching your full potential. But what if you start challenging those negative thoughts and replacing them with more empowering beliefs? What if you remind yourself of your strengths, your accomplishments and the unique gifts you have to offer the world? Over time, you'll start to see yourself in a new light and your confidence and self-esteem will soar. The Stoic Challenge the Stoics challenge us to become the architects of our own minds, to consciously choose the thoughts we entertain and the beliefs we cultivate. It's not about denying the reality of negative experiences or pretending that everything is always rosy. It's about recognizing the power of our thoughts to shape our reality and choosing to focus on what empowers us, uplifts us and moves us closer to our goals. So today, let's make a commitment to be more mindful of our thoughts. Let's cultivate a mental diet that nourishes our souls and supports our well-being. Let's challenge negative self-talk and replace it with empowering beliefs. And let's remember that every thought we entertain is a brushstroke on the canvas of our minds, shaping the masterpiece that is our lives. Lesson 2. The Mind's Bouncer. Guarding the gates of your mental castle. All right, folks, let's build on the idea that your mind is like a sculptor's clay, constantly being shaped by your thoughts. Today, we're talking about being the bouncer at the door of your mind, carefully screening who and what gets in. The Stoics called this being mindful of your mental inputs and it's crucial for maintaining clarity, focus and inner peace. Think of your mind as a magnificent castle, a sanctuary for your thoughts, emotions and aspirations. But just like any castle, it needs strong walls and vigilant guards to protect it from invaders. In the modern world, those invaders come in many forms, negative news, social media drama, toxic relationships and even our own self-doubting thoughts. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic emperor and philosopher, put it this way in his meditations. Drama, combat, terror, numbness and subservience, every day these things wipe out your sacred principles whenever your mind entertains them uncritically or lets them slip in. In other words, you have to be selective about what you allow into your mental space. Just like you wouldn't let a random stranger into your home, you shouldn't let just any thought or influence into your mind. Your mental health and well-being depend on it. The Information Overload In today's world, we're constantly bombarded with information and stimuli. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we're exposed to a relentless stream of news, social media updates, advertisements and opinions. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose. It's overwhelming and it can leave us feeling drained, anxious and disconnected from our true selves. The Stoics, living in a simpler time, didn't have to deal with the constant onslaught of digital distractions, but they still understood the importance of protecting their minds from negative influences. 
They knew that the thoughts we entertain shape our perception of the world and our actions within it. The Stoic Filter So, how do you become the bouncer at the door of your mind? How do you filter out the mental junk food and let in only the nourishing and uplifting thoughts? Here are a few Stoic strategies. 1. Be selective with your inputs. Choose your news sources, social media feeds, and even your conversations carefully. Surround yourself with positive influences that inspire, educate, and uplift you. Limit your exposure to negativity, drama, and sensationalism. 2. Practice mindfulness. Cultivate present moment awareness and observe your thoughts without judgment. Notice when your mind starts to wander down a rabbit hole of worry, fear, or comparison. Gently bring your attention back to the present moment and focus on your breath or your surroundings. 3. Question your thoughts. Don't just accept every thought that pops into your head as truth. Ask yourself, is this thought helpful? Is it based on evidence or just on my assumptions and fears? Is it serving me or hindering me? 4. Cultivate positive affirmations. Counteract negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Remind yourself of your strengths, your accomplishments and your potential. Write down affirmations and repeat them to yourself throughout the day. Modern Day Examples The Doom Scrolling Habit You know how it is. You start scrolling through the news or social media and before you know it, you've spent hours absorbing negativity and feeling anxious about the state of the world. The Stoic Solution Set limits on your screen time, curate your feeds to focus on positive and uplifting content, and make time for activities that nourish your mind and soul. The Toxic Friendship You have a friend who's always complaining, gossiping or creating drama. Their negativity is contagious, and you always feel drained and depleted after spending time with them. The Stoic Solution Set boundaries with this friend, limit your interactions with them, and prioritize relationships that uplift and support you. The self-doubt spiral. You're constantly second-guessing yourself, comparing yourself to others, and feeling like you're not good enough. These negative thoughts create a self-fulfilling prophecy, undermining your confidence and holding you back from reaching your full potential. The Stoic Solution Challenge those negative thoughts with evidence and logic. Remind yourself of your strengths, your accomplishments, and your unique value. The Stoic Advantage By being mindful of what you allow into your mind, you're not just protecting yourself from negativity, you're also creating space for positivity, growth, and transformation. You're cultivating a mental environment that supports your well-being, empowers you to make wise choices, and helps you live a life that's truly fulfilling. Remember, your mind is your most valuable asset. Treat it with care, nourish it with wisdom, and guard it against the invaders that seek to steal your peace and joy. By mastering the art of mental filtering, you can create a life that's not just about surviving, but about thriving, flourishing, and reaching your full potential. Lesson 3. Reality Check. The Stoic's Guide to Seeing Through the Illusion. All right, folks. Let's talk about something that can trip us up faster than a banana peel on a freshly waxed floor the deceptive nature of circumstances. Now, before you start thinking this is about conspiracy theories or hidden agendas, let's get one thing straight. We're talking about something much more subtle, something that affects us all, every single day. The Stoics, those wise folks from ancient times, were keen observers of human nature. 
They understood that our perception of reality is often colored by our emotions, our biases, and the situations we find ourselves in. It's like looking at the world through a pair of glasses that sometimes get smudged or distorted, making it hard to see things clearly. Seneca, the Roman Stoic philosopher and playwright, put it this way, Circumstances are what deceive us. You must be discerning in them. We embrace evil before good. We desire the opposite of what we once desired. Our prayers are at war with our prayers, our plans with our plans. In other words, the world around us can play tricks on our minds. We can get so caught up in the moment, in the heat of the situation, that we lose sight of what's truly important. We can be swayed by appearances, by other people's opinions, by our own fleeting desires and fears. And this can lead us to make choices that are not in our best interest, that contradict our values, or that simply lead to unnecessary suffering. The Illusion of the External Think about those times when you've been swept up in the excitement of a new project, only to crash and burn when things didn't go according to plan. Or maybe you've been devastated by a rejection feeling like your whole world is falling apart, only to realize later that it was actually a blessing in disguise. These are all examples of how circumstances can deceive us, how they can create illusions that distort our perception of reality. We get so focused on the external, the outcome, the approval, the material gain, that we lose sight of the internal, our values, our character, our own sense of worth. The Stoic Practice of Discernment So, how do you avoid falling for these illusions? How do you cultivate the Stoic virtue of discernment, the ability to see through the surface and perceive the true nature of things? Here are a few strategies. 1. The Pause Button When faced with a challenging or emotionally charged situation, hit the pause button. Take a few deep breaths step back from the immediate situation and create some mental space for reflection. 2. The Objective Lens Try to see the situation objectively as if you were an outside observer. What are the facts? What are the potential consequences of different courses of action? What aligns with your values and long-term goals? 3. The Inner Compass Check in with your gut, your intuition. What feels right? What feels wrong? Don't ignore your emotions, but don't let them dictate your decisions either. Use them as valuable data points, but let reason be the ultimate guide. Fourth, the long view. Consider the situation in the context of your whole life. Will this matter in a year, in five years, in 10 years? This can help you put things in perspective and avoid getting caught up in the drama of the moment. Modern day examples. The job offer. You get a job offer with a fancy title and a big salary, but the company culture is toxic and the work itself is unfulfilling. The stoic approach. Don't be seduced by the external trappings of success. Consider whether the job aligns with your values and long-term goals. The Social Media Envy Trap You see your friends posting pictures of their exotic vacations and perfect families, and you start to feel inadequate and unhappy with your own life. The Stoic Solution Remember that social media often showcases the highlight reel, not the full picture. Focus on your own blessings and create your own definition of happiness. The fear of missing out. You're constantly worried about missing out on the latest trends, events or experiences. You say yes to every invitation, even if it means sacrificing your own time and energy. The stoic approach. Prioritize what truly matters to you and don't let the fear of missing out dictate your choices. The Stoic Advantage 
By cultivating discernment and seeing through the illusions of circumstance, you're not just avoiding bad decisions, you're also creating a life of greater clarity, purpose, and inner peace. You're becoming the master of your own fate, the captain of your own ship, navigating life's challenges with wisdom and resilience. Remember, the Stoics weren't just armchair philosophers, they were practical people who applied these principles to their daily lives. And so can you. By learning to see through the illusions of circumstance, you can create a life that's truly your own, a life that's guided by your values, your goals, and your own inner compass. Lesson 4. The Ego Trap. Keeping your feet on the ground. When the world lifts you up, all right, folks, let's have a little heart-to-heart -heart about something that can be as intoxicating as it is dangerous. Success. We all dream of achieving great things, of reaching the pinnacle of our careers, of basking in the glow of recognition and admiration. But what happens when we actually get there? Can we handle the heady heights of success without losing our footing, our perspective, and even our sanity. The Stoics, those wise philosophers from ancient times, were all too familiar with the seductive power of success. They saw how it could inflate egos, cloud judgment, and lead even the most virtuous individuals astray. As Seneca warned, prosperity is a more severe ordeal than adversity, for in the latter, a person encounters obstacles that test their powers, whereas in the former, they are corrupted by the admiration they excite. In other words, success can be a greater test of character than failure. When things are going well, it's easy to become complacent, arrogant, and forgetful of the hard work and humility that got us there in the first place. We start to believe our own hype, to see ourselves as invincible and to lose touch with the reality of our own limitations and vulnerabilities. The Slippery Slope of Ego Think about those times when you've achieved something great, a promotion at work, a personal accomplishment, a public recognition. It feels amazing, right? You're on top of the world and it's tempting to let that feeling go to your head. But the Stoics would caution against this kind of ego-driven intoxication. They understood that success is fleeting, that the tides of fortune can turn in an instant, and that true strength lies not in external achievements, but in inner virtue and character. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in his Meditations, Make sure you're not made emperor. Avoid that imperial stain. It can happen to you, so keep yourself simple, good, pure, saintly, plain, a friend of justice, God-fearing, gracious, affectionate, and strong for your proper work. Even as the most powerful man in the world, Marcus Aurelius recognized the dangers of letting success go to his head. He reminded himself to stay grounded, humble, and focused on his duty rather than getting caught up in the trappings of power and prestige. The Stoic Antidote, Humility and Gratitude. So how do you navigate the treacherous waters of success without succumbing to the siren song of ego? The Stoics offer a few powerful antidotes. 1. Cultivate humility. Recognize that your achievements are not solely your own. They're the result of hard work, luck, and the support of others. Remember that there's always someone who's better than you at something, and that there's always room for improvement. 2. Practice gratitude. Take time each day to appreciate what you have, rather than focusing on what you've achieved or what you still want. This will help you stay grounded and connected to the present moment, rather than getting lost in the pursuit of future goals or past glories. 3. Focus on your values. 
When success comes knocking, don't let it compromise your core values and principles. Stay true to yourself, even if it means making unpopular choices or going against the grain. 4. Serve others. Use your success to benefit others, whether it's through mentorship, philanthropy, or simply being a kind and supportive presence in the lives of those around you. Modern Day Examples The Stoic approach to success is just as relevant today as it was in ancient times. We see examples of people succumbing to the ego trap all around us. The Celebrity Meltdown a once-beloved celebrity lets fame and fortune go to their head, engaging in self-destructive behavior and alienating their fans. The corporate executive burnout. A high-powered executive becomes so consumed by their work and the pursuit of success that they neglect their health, relationships and overall well-being. The insta-famous social media star. An influencer becomes obsessed with likes, followers and external validation, losing sight of their true self and values in the process. The Stoic Challenge The Stoics challenge us to define success on our own terms, not by society's standards. They urge us to cultivate inner strength, humility and gratitude, and to use our achievements to benefit others, not just ourselves. So, the next time you experience success, take a moment to pause and reflect. Celebrate your accomplishments, but don't let them define you. Stay grounded, stay humble, and keep striving for excellence, not just in your external achievements, but in your character and your contributions to the world. Remember, true success is not about reaching the top of the mountain, it's about the person you become along the way. Lesson 5. The Know-It-All Trap. Embracing the beauty of I don't know. All right, folks, let's talk about a personality trait that can be as off-putting as a bad smell. The know-it-all attitude. We all know those folks who seem to have an opinion on everything, and they're always convinced they're right. They'll pontificate on topics they barely understand, dismiss opposing viewpoints with a wave of the hand, and generally act like they've got the universe figured out. Now, confidence is a great thing, but there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. The Stoics, those wise philosophers from ancient times, were all about intellectual humility. They understood that true wisdom comes from recognizing the vastness of what we don't know, and that there's always room for learning and growth. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher who never missed a chance to challenge his students' egos, put it this way, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. In other words, if you're convinced you've got it all figured out, you're essentially closing yourself off to new ideas, new perspectives, and the possibility of being wrong. You're like a cup that's already full. There's no room for anything else to be poured in. The Illusion of Omniscience We live in a world that often rewards those who project an image of confidence and certainty. From politicians and pundits, to social media influencers and self-proclaimed gurus, it seems like everyone's got an answer for everything. But the Stoics would remind us that true knowledge is a rare and precious commodity, and that most of us are walking around with a lot more ignorance than we'd like to admit. Think about it. Have you ever been in a conversation where someone confidently spouted off about a topic they clearly knew very little about? Or maybe you've been guilty of this yourself, trying to impress others with your supposed knowledge, only to realize later how much you didn't know. The Stoics would call this the illusion of omniscience, the mistaken belief that we have a complete and accurate understanding of the world. It's a trap that's easy to fall into, especially in an age of information overload, 
where we're constantly bombarded with opinions and facts from all directions. The stoic embrace of I don't know. So, how do you avoid the know-it-all trap and cultivate a more humble and open-minded approach to learning? The Stoics offer a few simple but powerful strategies. 1. Admit your ignorance. The first step is to admit that you don't know everything. This might sound obvious, but it's actually a radical act in a world that often rewards those who project an image of certainty and expertise. Embrace the phrase, I don't know, and see it as an opportunity for curiosity and learning, rather than a sign of weakness. 2. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions, even if you think they might sound stupid. Genuine curiosity is a sign of intelligence, not ignorance. And by asking questions, you're not only gaining knowledge, but you're also showing respect for the other person's expertise and perspective. 3. Listen actively. When someone is sharing their knowledge or opinions, listen actively and with an open mind. Don't just wait for your turn to talk. Try to truly understand their perspective, even if you don't agree with it. 4. Embrace the Socratic method. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates was a master of questioning and challenging assumptions. He believed that the best way to learn is to engage in dialogue and debate to test our own beliefs and opinions against the crucible of reason and evidence. Modern Day Humility In today's world, it's more important than ever to cultivate intellectual humility. We're constantly bombarded with information and opinions, and it's easy to get caught up in the echo chambers of our own beliefs. But the Stoics would remind us that true wisdom comes from being open to new ideas, challenging our assumptions, and recognizing that we all have blind spots. So, the next time you're tempted to pontificate on a topic you know little about, or to dismiss someone else's perspective without truly listening, take a stoic pause. Remember that you don't have all the answers, and that there's always more to learn. Embrace the beauty of I don't know and watch as your mind opens up to a world of possibilities. Lesson 6. The Inner Circle. The Stoic Art of Prioritizing What Truly Matters. All right, folks, let's talk about a Stoic principle that's all about cutting through the noise and focusing on what truly matters. Focus on what is yours alone. Now, before you start picturing a solitary retreat in a remote cabin, let's clarify what the Stoics meant by this. The Stoics weren't advocating for a life of isolation or detachment from the world. They were all about engaging with life fully, contributing to society and building meaningful relationships. But they also understood that in order to do this effectively, we need to be clear about our priorities and focus our energy on what's within our control. Epictetus, the no-nonsense Stoic teacher, put it this way, some things are up to us and some things are not up to us. Our opinions are up to us and our impulses, desires, aversions, in short, whatever is our own doing. Our bodies are not up to us, nor are our possessions, our reputations or our public offices or, that is, whatever is not our own doing. In other words, there's a whole lot of stuff in this world that's simply outside of our control. Other people's opinions, the economy, the weather, even our own health to some extent. Worrying about these externals is like trying to control the wind. It's a recipe for frustration and anxiety. But here's the empowering part. There's also a whole lot of stuff that is within our control. Our thoughts, our judgments, our actions, our character. And by focusing our energy and attention on these internal factors, we can create a sense of agency, purpose, and even joy, regardless of what's happening around us. The Stoic Circle of Control 
The Stoics often used the metaphor of a circle to represent this idea. The things within the circle are the things we can directly influence. Our own thoughts, choices and behaviours. The things outside the circle are the things we can't control. External events, other people's actions, the whims of fate. The Stoic challenge is to focus on expanding our circle of control, not by trying to dominate the external world, but by mastering our inner world. It's about recognizing that our true power lies in our ability to choose how we respond to life's challenges, not in trying to bend the universe to our will. Modern Day Distractions In today's world, it's easier than ever to get distracted from what's truly important. We're constantly bombarded with notifications, emails, social media updates, and the never-ending stream of news and information. It's like trying to focus on a task while juggling flaming torches and riding a unicycle. It's nearly impossible. The Stoics would urge us to step back from this chaos and reclaim our focus. They'd remind us that our time and energy are precious resources and we need to be intentional about how we spend them. Prioritizing what matters. So, how do you focus on what's yours alone in the midst of all this noise and distraction? Here are a few stoic strategies. 1. Identify your values. What's truly important to you? What are the principles and ideals that guide your life? Once you're clear on your values, you can start making choices that align with them, regardless of external pressures or distractions. 2. Set clear goals. What do you want to achieve in your life? What are your dreams and aspirations? Once you have a clear vision for your future, you can start taking concrete steps towards making it a reality. 3. Eliminate distractions. Identify the things that are pulling you away from your goals and values. This could include social media, toxic relationships, or even certain commitments and obligations that no longer serve you. 4. Practice mindfulness. Cultivate present moment awareness and focus on the task at hand. When your mind starts to wander, Gently bring it back to the present moment and refocus on your priorities. Eindavde. Don't be afraid to say no to requests or invitations that don't align with your values or goals. Your time and energy are precious and you have the right to protect them. The Stoic Advantage. By focusing on what's yours alone, you're not just becoming more productive or efficient, you're also cultivating a deeper sense of purpose, meaning and inner peace. You're creating a life that's truly your own, a life that's guided by your values, your passions and your own unique vision for the future. As the contemporary Stoic philosopher William B. Irvine puts it, The goal of Stoicism is to live a happy life, and one way to do this is to avoid becoming overly dependent on things that are outside our control. So today, let's make a commitment to prioritize what truly matters. Let's focus on our own circle of control, set clear intentions and take deliberate actions that move us closer to our goals. Let's create a life that's not just about reacting to the world around us, but about actively shaping our own destiny. Lesson 7. The Now Factor. Unlocking the Stoic Secret to Presence and Peace. All right, folks, let's talk about a concept that's both incredibly simple and profoundly challenging. Focusing on the present moment. In our fast-paced, hyper-connected world, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of past regrets and future anxieties. We're constantly replaying old conversations in our heads, worrying about what might happen tomorrow, or scrolling through social media feeds that showcase everyone else's highlight reel. But the Stoics 
those wise folks from ancient times knew that true peace and happiness can only be found in the here and now. They understood that the past is gone, the future is uncertain, and the only thing we truly have is this present moment. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, put it this way in his Meditations. Don't let your reflection on the whole sweep of life crush you. Don't fill your mind with all the bad things that might still happen. Stay focused on the present situation and ask yourself why it's so unbearable and can't be survived. In other words, stop letting your mind time travel. Stop dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about future uncertainties. Bring your attention back to the present moment, to the sights, sounds and sensations that surround you right now. That's where life is happening. That's where the magic is. The Time-Travelling Mind Our minds are like time machines, constantly zipping back and forth between the past and the future. We replay old arguments, relive past traumas, or fantasize about future successes and failures. And while this mental time travel can sometimes be helpful for learning from the past or planning for the future, it can also be a major source of stress, anxiety and unhappiness. Think about it. Have you ever spent an entire evening ruminating over a conversation you had earlier that day, replaying every word and analyzing every nuance? Or have you ever found yourself lying awake at night worrying about a presentation you have to give next week or a bill that's due next month. In those moments, you're not fully present in your life. You're missing out on the beauty, the joy and the opportunities that are right in front of you. You're letting your mind steal you away from the present moment and that's a recipe for dissatisfaction and regret. The Stoic Practice of Mindfulness so how do you break free from this time-traveling mind and cultivate a greater sense of presence and peace? The Stoics would suggest a practice that's become increasingly popular in recent years. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about noticing your thoughts, emotions and bodily sensations as they arise without getting caught up in them or trying to change them. It's about simply being present, fully engaged in the here and now. Here are a few simple ways to practice mindfulness in your daily life. Focus on your breath. Take a few deep breaths, noticing the rise and fall of your chest or the sensation of the air flowing in and out of your nostrils. Engage your senses. Pay attention to the sights, sounds, smells, tastes and textures around you. Notice the details of your surroundings, the feeling of your feet on the ground, the warmth of the sun on your skin. Observe your thoughts and emotions. When thoughts or emotions arise, simply observe them without judgment. Label them if it's helpful. This is anxiety. This is frustration. But don't get caught up in their stories or try to push them away. Practice gratitude. Take a moment to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small. This could be a warm cup of coffee, a friendly smile from a stranger, or the simple fact that you're alive and breathing. Modern day mindfulness. Mindfulness has become a bit of a buzzword in recent years, but it's rooted in ancient wisdom traditions, including Stoicism. And there's a good reason for its popularity. Research has shown that mindfulness can reduce stress, improve focus, boost creativity and enhance overall well-being. So, whether you're meditating on a mountaintop or simply taking a mindful walk in the park, the practice of being present can have a profound impact on your life. The Stoic Advantage by focusing on the present moment, you're not just reducing stress and anxiety, you're also creating a richer, more fulfilling life. You're savoring the beauty of each experience 
appreciating the people around you and making the most of every precious moment. As the contemporary Stoic philosopher Ryan Holiday puts it, the present moment is all we have. So let's make the most of it, shall we? So today let's make a commitment to be more present. Let's put down our phones, turn off the distractions and tune into the richness of the here and now. Let's embrace the stoic wisdom of focusing on the present moment and let's create a life that's not just about getting through the day, but about truly living it. Lesson 8. The Sensory Illusion. The Stoics' Reality. Check. All right, folks, let's talk about something that seems so fundamental to our understanding of the world, yet can be surprisingly deceptive. Our senses. The Stoics, those ancient philosophers who were all about reason and clear thinking, had a healthy dose of skepticism when it came to trusting what we see, hear, touch, taste and smell. The Stoics understood that our senses can be easily fooled, influenced by external factors, our own biases and even our emotional states. As the Stoic philosopher Sextus Empiricus put it, the senses do not apprehend external objects. In other words, what we perceive isn't always an accurate representation of reality. It's a filtered version, influenced by our own unique perspectives and experiences. And if we're not careful, we can easily fall prey to illusions, misinterpretations, and even outright deception. The Tricks of the Mind Think about those times when you've been tricked by your senses. Maybe you've seen a mirage in the desert, a shimmering pool of water that turned out to be nothing but hot sand, or perhaps you've heard a strange noise in the night. Your imagination conjuring up all sorts of scary scenarios, only to discover it was just the wind rustling through the trees. These are just a few examples of how our senses can play tricks on us. Our brains are constantly trying to make sense of the world, filling in the gaps and creating narratives based on limited information. And while this ability is often helpful, it can also lead us astray. The Stoic Approach to Sensory Input So, how do you avoid falling for the illusions of your senses? The Stoics would offer a few strategies. 1. Question your perceptions. Don't just accept what you see, hear or feel at face value. Ask yourself, is this really what's happening? Or am I interpreting it through my own biases and expectations? 2. Seek multiple perspectives. Try to see things from different angles. Talk to others, gather more information, and consider alternative explanations before forming a judgment. 3. Use reason and logic. Don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Analyze the situation objectively, weigh the evidence, and use logic to arrive at a more accurate understanding. 4. Practice mindfulness. Cultivate present moment awareness and pay attention to the raw data of your senses without immediately jumping to conclusions or interpretations. Modern day examples. Let's bring this stoic wisdom into the 21st century. Imagine you're scrolling through social media and you see a picture of a friend looking incredibly happy and successful. Your first instinct might be to feel envious or inadequate. But by taking a stoic pause, you can remind yourself that social media often presents a curated and idealized version of reality. You don't know the full story behind that picture, and comparing yourself to others is a recipe for unhappiness. Or maybe you're in a heated discussion with someone and their tone of voice or body language seems aggressive and confrontational. Your first impulse might be to react defensively or escalate the conflict. But by taking a step back and observing the situation more objectively, you might realize that they're simply passionate about their point of view, 
or that they're struggling with their own internal frustrations. The Stoic Advantage By not blindly trusting your senses, you're not just avoiding misunderstandings and misinterpretations, you're also cultivating a more nuanced and accurate understanding of the world around you. You're becoming a more discerning, thoughtful and compassionate individual. As the contemporary Stoic philosopher Massimo Pigliucci puts it, the ability to question our perceptions and challenge our assumptions is a key component of critical thinking. It allows us to see beyond the surface and understand the true nature of things. So today, let's make a conscious effort to be more mindful of our senses. Let's question our perceptions, seek out multiple perspectives, and use reason and logic to guide our judgments. By doing so, we can break free from the illusions of the external world and cultivate a deeper, more authentic understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Lesson 9. The Focus Formula. Taming the Wild Monkey Mind. All right, folks, let's tackle a challenge that's more prevalent than ever in today's world of buzzing notifications and endless distractions. Keeping your attention focused. The Stoics, those ancient philosophers who were all about mastering their minds, understood the importance of concentration and single-mindedness long before smartphones and social media came along. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once wrote, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. In other words, if your attention is scattered across a thousand different things, you're not truly present in any of them. You're like a butterfly flitting from flower to flower, never fully experiencing the beauty or nectar of any one blossom. The Multitasking Myth We live in a culture that glorifies multitasking, the ability to juggle multiple tasks and responsibilities simultaneously. We pride ourselves on being able to answer emails while on a conference call, scroll through social media while watching TV, and plan our next meal while driving to work. But here's the harsh truth. Multitasking is a myth. Our brains are not designed to focus on multiple complex tasks at once. When we try to do so, we end up doing each task poorly, making more mistakes and feeling stressed and overwhelmed. It's like trying to play a piano concerto with one hand while texting with the other. It's just not gonna sound very good. The Stoics understood this long before neuroscientists confirmed it with brain scans. They knew that true productivity and creativity come from focusing on one task at a time giving it your full attention and dedication. The Stoic Practice of Single-Mindedness So, how do you break free from the multitasking madness and cultivate a more focused and productive mind? The Stoics offer a few strategies. 1. Prioritize ruthlessly. Not all tasks are created equal. Identify the most important and impactful tasks on your to-do list and focus on those first. Don't let the urgent crowd out the important. 2. Create a distraction-free environment. Minimize external distractions as much as possible. Turn off notifications, put your phone on silent, and find a quiet space where you can concentrate. 3. Practice time blocking. Allocate specific blocks of time for different tasks or activities. This helps you stay focused and avoid the temptation to switch between tasks constantly. 4. Embrace deep work. Set aside dedicated time for focused, uninterrupted work on your most important projects. This is when you'll be most productive and creative. 5. Mindful transitions. When you do need to switch between tasks, do so mindfully. Take a few deep breaths, acknowledge the completion of one task and set a clear intention for the next one. Modern Day Examples 
Let's see how this stoic principle applies to our modern lives. The app hopper. This person constantly switches between different apps and tasks on their phone, never fully focusing on any one thing. They might feel productive, but they're actually just scattering their attention and hindering their ability to get things done. The open office worker. This person struggles to concentrate in a noisy and distracting open office environment. They might try to block out the noise with headphones or find a quiet corner to work in, but their productivity still suffers. The overwhelmed student. This student is juggling multiple classes, assignments and extracurricular activities and they're feeling stressed and burnt out. By prioritizing their tasks, setting clear deadlines and creating a distraction-free study environment, they can regain control and achieve academic success. The Stoic Advantage By cultivating a focused and single-minded approach to life, you're not just becoming more productive, you're also improving the quality of your experiences. You're fully present in each moment, appreciating the task at hand and savoring the satisfaction of a job well done. As the contemporary Stoic philosopher Cal Newport puts it in his book, Deep Work. The ability to perform deep work is becoming increasingly rare at exactly the same time it is becoming increasingly valuable in our economy. As a consequence, the few who cultivate this skill and then make it the core of their working life will thrive. So today, let's make a commitment to tame our wild monkey minds and cultivate a more focused and intentional approach to life. Let's prioritize ruthlessly, eliminate distractions and embrace the power of deep work. By doing so, we can achieve greater clarity, productivity and fulfillment in all areas of our lives. Remember, a scattered mind is a weak mind a focused mind is a powerful mind. Choose focus, choose intentionality, and unleash your true potential. Lesson 10. The quiet power of restraint. The stoic art of less is more all right. Folks, let's wrap up this episode on unbiased thought with a stoic principle that's all about quality over quantity. Don't be a person of many words or actions. Now, before you start picturing a monk taking a vow of silence or a hermit living in isolation, let's reframe this concept a bit. The Stoics weren't advocating for passivity or inaction. They were all about purposeful living and making a meaningful impact on the world. But they also understood that true effectiveness often comes from restraint, focus, and intentionality. The noise of busyness. Think about those times when you felt overwhelmed, scattered and unproductive. You're running around like a chicken with its head cut off, juggling a million different tasks and constantly checking your phone for the latest notification. It's like you're in a never-ending race, always trying to do more, be more, achieve more, but the Stoics would argue that this constant busyness is often a distraction, a way to avoid facing our deeper fears and insecurities. It's like filling our lives with noise to drown out the silence within. And, in the process, we lose sight of what truly matters, sacrificing quality for quantity and depth for superficiality. The Power of Deliberate Action the Stoics believed that true fulfillment comes not from frantic activity, but from deliberate action. It's about choosing your battles wisely, focusing on what's within your control, and making every action count.